Hi everyone. Good morning. I hope all of you are doing good. In this video, I'm going to tell you a few things about uh, S4 HANA related uh, interview questions or concepts uh, where we are going to discuss. So first of all, I want to tell you that in S4 HANA, when you create uh, invoice verification, okay, there will be a default tax code uh, is visible. Okay. So I want to tell you about what is that setting and where you can configure and at what level you can configure those things we are going to check now. Okay. So let me show you that um, slash n mi ro. So when you go to mirror transaction code, there will be a tax code. For example, one, one, double, zero, one. Okay. So let's take any other company code. One, zero, zero. So when you go to the company code, okay. Uh, when you give the company code in uh, invoice verification transaction, then you will see this uh, tax code is blank. Okay. Sometimes you see the tax code, sometimes it is blank. So where can you control? Okay. This is the S4 HANA system and S4 HANA 2021. These settings are similar like ECC. Okay. But uh, as we are uh, talking about any one new point, uh, which is applicable for S4 HANA, so I try to highlight that which is uh, new to S4 HANA or else it is already same as a ECC. Those things I can highlight. Go to SPAO, reference IMG. Let me put a highlighter. Reference IMG, then go to material management then go to logistics invoice verification the settings are related to invoice verification so it is under logistics invoice verification incoming invoice here there is a configuration called maintain default values for tax codes let's go to the position 1000 and uh, go check the 1000 company code and click on See here, the default tax codes are blank. So that we are getting the blank. Let's take it any one company code which has certain entries. Maybe 1030. Yeah, 1030 has an entry. Go to Miro. And uh, already 1000 is by default is there, right? We want to change it. Then go to edit. Switch company code. 1030. So once you give 1030, you can observe here the tax code V1 has come by default. So if your business requirement to default certain tax code uh, at the header level, then you need to maintain this configuration. And this configuration can be maintained at header level only. Okay. So yeah, I hope uh, this video has helped you to understand that how can you get this header and how to change a company code and where is the configuration setting where you can control and this control is at the company code level but not at the vendor level or something i hope this video has helped you to understand certain points if you like the video and keep sharing and uh, keep spreading knowledge thank you